Welcome back. So we are continuing our study of combinational logic circuits at the transistor level using MOS and PMOS transistors in a complementary fashion, and we call this CMOS digital logic circuits. And so in this example, we are going to realize a NAND gate at the transistor level. Now, what is the logic function for a NAND gate? We have Y equals A and B NANDed. Or what is the same? A not N or B. And so with this, if you recall, and you can look at the previous videos, we went over how do you realize these networks, right? Now, let's see. The output is going to be low, I'm going to do this, to be low, A, B, NANDED, and NANDED again, I just NANDED this, okay? Gives me A, and B. And so to realize this circuit, we want a low output if A and B are in series, meaning A and B. If both of, the, of those are logic highs, we'll get these two and most transistors conducting. If both of these conduct, the output will be, in that case, zero, will be pulled down to zero through this pull down network. Okay? A pull down network is going to be a network that pulls the output to a zero, to ground, towards ground. Now, we are using the transistors as switches. For the output to go to ground, you need both A conducting and B conducting. If any of the two is in cutoff, meaning because you have a low voltage level, and so they are not turning on, they are in the cutoff region, then you do not have a logical zero. And in the complementary pull-up network, what we see is to have a logical high, we need A or B low. We are using the PMOS symbol that is typically used in digital circuits. It has this bubble here to indicate that it turns on at low logical levels. So, so we have A or B, and this is BDD. So as an example, let's do an example here. Let's consider that, that A is equal to zero, and B is equal to one. Meaning, we have A, it is a ground, it's close to ground, and B is close to BDD. So, what do we have here? A is off. Here? and it is on here, and B is on here, so we have here like a, a resistor. I mean, this, this circuit will be equivalent to having, I'm going to draw it here, Why? an open switch, because A is off, and a resistor to ground are on. And at the top, A, since we have a low voltage, this PMOS is conducting, we have to, a path to BDD is on, a small resistance are on, and B is off. What is Y equal to in this case? Well, it gets pulled off to BDD and we get a logical one. If you do the truth table, you realize that we have implemented a NAND function. Okay, another quick example. Let's do A is equal to one, 
b is equal to zero. It's the same thing here. Now this will be on, this will be off. So the switch is this one and this. Now still nothing happens, but as long as we have b being zero, this is on and we have a path to BDD and this one is off. Or A equals one, B equals one. In this case, we have that, oops, actually let's do it in another color. A equals one, B equals one. What do we have? On, on, off, off. So now, I mean, we have closed both switches, y is equal to zero. As you can see, if a and b are high, the output is going to be low, like a NAND gate. Again, if you wanted to create an AND gate, you can start with the NAND gate. For any, as many inputs as you want, A, B, da, 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 N inputs, A, B, N inputs, you connect all these A together and B together, so that PDD. this is the output, right? And if we wanted to create the AND gate, we just create here an inverter. And this will be the AND gate. We start with the AND gate and we end it again. Thank you. In the next video, we're going to go we're going to go over how to design an arbitrary logic function. Thank you.